What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 50 and today's topic will be how to create portrait and landscape landscape orientation together in same PDF so in the last tutorial we have seen how to create landscape orientation and how to create portrait orientation but alternatively but not together in the same PDF file but in this tutorial we'll see how to create one single PDF file and that uh, should contain two different uh, orientation together and let's say one page contains uh, portrait and one page is in landscape okay so let me open the id first and start writing the code so from report lab dot pdf chain import canvas okay and then from uh, report lab dot platypus import paragraph simple doc template then page template then next page template frame and I think everything is covered yes right then from report lab dot leap uh, dot styles import get sample style sheet so now we'll define the pdf file object so this is going to be simple why this is not coming simple doc template and inside that we'll write the name so this is going to be tutorial 50 dot pdf okay so now what i'll do i'll try to create two different templates so for first template this is going to be let's say port and how to do that for that page or i think page template we'll have one id uh, let's give id let's p okay and then there will be one size for this thing so this is going to be just thinking how to define the size so um, this is going to be i'm uh, just thinking how to define the size so uh, this is size this is fine there is no problem with this okay mm, page template id uh, well page size is there uh, this is this is how it is frame uh, page size and, and and the frames will be there okay frames will be frames okay okay so the attribute name should be page size okay so i'll write page size is going to be like this so this is going to be portrait so definitely 500 by 900 is fine and we'll define frames and this is going to be um, let's say frame one okay and for our case frame one is going to be frame this one frame mm, where is define this frame okay and inside that we'll write let's say 10 uh, uh, i'm just thinking from like 10 from top 20 this is going to be um 
let's give it kind of uh, let's say width should be 950 and height should be 600 okay this is frame 1 and there should be something called frame 2 uh, like this okay this is frame 2 and here the this should be 600 and this should be the 900 cause this is going to be uh, okay so frame 1 is actually portrait so portrait is different so here it should be uh, 600 and this should be 900 okay uh, or more than 900 let's make it 1000 and uh, landscape will be different so landscape it will be 1000 and here it should be 700 okay so this is one and next template uh, should be another one that is landscape so what i'll do i'll just give a name to land okay and we'll give a name of l this is frame two the size let me define this this is landscape so definitely the size will be 900 and this side this is going to be let's say 600 okay now we'll add this thing to the document so pdf dot add add page templates and here we'll write two names so this is going to be i believe p and l okay so let's run this thing i think uh, unexpected indent okay this 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 should be here this should be here not sure why these things came a bit this side okay this is fine this is also fine let me run this thing again p is not defined okay so this should be this this so what i'll do I will write P and L. Let's run this thing now. Yes, it's terminated. So it means till now there is no error. Okay, so now we have added this thing in inside our page. Now what it's required? Now we need to write something. So text is equals to text. Okay, and let's define one flow bell object is this and then define one styles equals to get get sample style sheet okay and p text equals to paragraph inside that we'll put our text and style will be styles and then we'll write this thing okay so this is done so now we need to add something so what is going to happen now flow underscore obj dot append equals to p text okay right now what i'll do now flow dot underscore obj dot append is going to we need to define one page break here okay page break and now we'll append this flow underscore obj dot append is going to be um, next page template and inside that we'll put this thing uh, which is uh, our template what is our template this one let's put p okay and write same thing again Uh, 
let me check if there is any error or not uh, okay app what is the appnet where is that error i think this is okay right so what i'll do now i'll just flow underscore obj uh, p means portrait so what i'll do i'll just put l so this is landscape and then pdf dot build flow underscore obj so let's check this thing whether this is working or not uh, before drop page this is something i am not sure why the error is here okay pdf dot build we are getting steer objects is not before drop page mm, just, okay okay so probably i think i did a mistake so what is this thing we need to cut this thing and we need to put this thing actually here let's try this thing now build one missing character so flow underscore obj is fine now okay mm, i'm just mm, i didn't understand like why this is not working okay this is saying that steer objects has not activated before draw page okay uh, um, flow bill object text equal to text flow bill object is this one flow bill object dot append is equals to p text this is paragraph style is normal this is fine everything is fine till now style equals to get sample style sheet style equals to styles dot normal this is normal no next page then flow obviously page next page template equals to this this append p text okay okay mm, okay so what happened here um just thinking frame is here frame is here but why this is still not working this is one thing okay 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 why this is not working let me okay so probably i think we missed something this would be here okay so we just missed the name is port and land and here this is land let's run this thing now again it's terminated so now it is working so let's refresh this thing now okay okay so this is normal portrait see this is landscape okay so this is portrait this is landscape so now we'll close all all tab and again we'll uh, create another round with this thing okay so what i'll do this next page let's call it as p okay and run this thing now again okay let's run this thing okay so this is portrait this is landscape this is portrait now we'll give some sort of frame border over here so show boundary one boundary one so let's run this thing so there will be nice looking frames see will get some sort of frames but which is not up to the mark cause this are cut from here actually so we'll try to define those things let me just check uh, okay this is, mm, so what will happen now so this should be 1200 and this is 500 means it should be 800 and this is 900 means 
this is 1200 and this is actually 900 so probably now this looks okay yes see the films and everything looks nice so this is portrait this is a landscape this is portrait so this is okay now so this is kind of complex but again very much possible and if you do proper practice you will definitely uh, learn this thing so what i'll do i'll just try to copy paste this thing now here so congratulations guys we have completed our 50th tutorial it's kind of half century okay so uh, probably now you have completed almost all the tutorials so only the use cases or some example scenarios are pending so there will be total five example scenarios i have already prepared so next week there will be no report lab tutorial so probably from last week of january i will be finishing this tutorial with five use cases so this is tutorial 50 from tutorial 51 there will be no tutorial rather it will be use case or scenario based some live example or hands-on okay so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button if you are really like the video and if it is actually helping you to develop something for your project or for your own learning and try to share our videos with your family friends whoever is actually interested to learn new things and don't forget to um, let us know by email or comment that uh, you are actually getting something from the video or you want us to like improve our quality or if you have any doubt or suggestion you can definitely write back to me or else if you have any other scenarios or use case if, if you want me to cover those things in the upcoming use case scenario section this is your time please send me all your uh, like doubts queries or use cases or examples i will try to cover everything so once again have a nice day take care goodbye and hope to see me in the next video very soon